Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey spent Monday morning sleeping in and relaxing at the NFL's star's mansion, giving the impression that they had quite the celebration in Kansas City the night before. Following the Chiefs' victory against the L.A. Chargers on Sunday night, the newlywed power couple was spotted driving off from Arrowhead Stadium together on a golf cart. They then pulled up to Kelsey's mansion to celebrate the triumph with friends and family. And now, after deciding to sleep in and spend the day together, the couple was still holed up at the expansive home on Monday afternoon. Both Travis and Taylor's homes were guarded by Taylor's security detail during the night, and they remained outside of them long after noon local time. The tight end's helper was observed earlier in the morning rushing to a nearby cafe to get coffee for the security personnel, and a few hours later at midday, a friend went to a nearby Mexican restaurant and picked up a takeout order of tacos, BBQ, burned ends quesadillas, chips and salsa to bring back to the athlete's house. The football player didn't come out until later in the day to drive his Rolls-Royce to a production studio in the city. After Kelsey left the house by himself, Taylor seemed to stay behind at her Bose house, leaving her security there. The pop diva and Super Bowl champion's brief affair has come to light in recent weeks, as Taylor's attendance at multiple Chiefs games has drawn notice from all around the world. The couple's obvious signs of love represent a significant departure for the pop singer, who is known to be reticent. Following Sunday night's game, the duo even posted romantic photos of themselves on Instagram. In the viral photo, Taylor, 33, was seen leaning up to her 34-year-old football star lover and planting a kiss on his face while placing her hand close to his chest. The picture was taken shortly after the anti-hero hitman was spotted, supporting Kelsey from a VIP suite after the latter's touchdown catch helped the Chiefs defeat the Los Angeles Chargers 31, 17 on Sunday, extending their winning streak to five games. The duo was seen on a golf cart behind the game and racing away from Arrowhead in an insider's footage. The Chiefs' home stadium was filled with fans, and the two-time Super Bowl champion waved to them. Speaking after the game on CBS, Kelsey had said he planned to celebrate the victory with his friends and family, which obviously included Swift, and the tight end's Kansas City mansion was the venue for a catered party during those festivities. Driven by his pal, the couple pulled into Kelsey's garage and inside his home in his Rolls Royce. Swift's bodyguards trailed closely behind. In pictures taken on Saturday, Kelsey's driveway was seen housing the Rolls-Royce, which was being cleaned in advance of Swift's arrival and Sunday's game. Soon after Swift and Kelsey arrived, the red party bus, which had earlier in the afternoon driven friends and family from the property to the game, rolled up and about 20 people piled out and entered the NFL star's house. It seems that the team was returning to the tight end's house to enjoy some renowned Kansas City barbecue in celebration of the victory. The group appeared to be enjoying some BBQ from Fiorella's Jack Stack while celebrating the Chiefs' victory and Kelsey's all-pro showing. Soon after the game, a food truck from the storied Kansas City restaurant pulled into Kelsey's driveway, ready for the group to head back. Renowned for its 11 hickory smoked meats, Fiorella's Jack Stack is a family-run barbecue restaurant with locations in the Kansas City metropolitan region. Just hours before the game, Swift had had lunch at Kelsey's estate earlier in the afternoon and posed for a picture with NFL great Bernie Kozar. Prominent for his eight-year tenure with the Cleveland Browns, Kozar posted the following photo and caption, on X. Watching the Browns game with at Taylor Swift 13 prior to the KC game. It hurts to watch Deshaun injured. Swift, wearing a friendship bracelet with Kelsey's Chiefs jersey number 87 on it, was seen lovingly staring at the player as he sprinted onto the field at Arrowhead after entering the arena.
Later, Swift was seen supporting their NFL star men in a suite at Arrowhead Stadium with Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Chiefs quarterback and Travis's close friend, Patrick Mahomes. And Kelsey and Mahomes put on quite the show. The tight end scored a touchdown right before halftime and gained 143 yards in the first half alone, the most in his career for a first half, which gave Swift and her new companion Brittany enough to cheer about. During their time together in the stands, the two wags have undoubtedly gotten closer. In fact, they have developed their own unique handshake, which they performed following the Chiefs' first touchdown to Marquez Valdez Scantling. In the first half, the two new friends danced a little while, enjoying the activity together. Swift held a drink in one hand as Brittany held her eleven-month-old son, Bronze, in her arms. They swayed back and forth while matching head-bobbing motions. Swift travelled from California by private aircraft to Kansas City earlier in the day to attend Kelsey's most recent Chiefs game at Arrowhead. Four hours before the game started, on Sunday morning, the pop star's plane took out early from Burbank, California, and headed straight for the Midwest, landing in Kansas City shortly after 12.30 p.m. EST. She was escorted inside Kelsey's home after racing across town with her entourage. After eating lunch at the nearby restaurant First Watch for around 30 minutes, Kelsey's family and friends had a food delivery order delivered to their home in time for the game at Arrowhead. For $42, the order included a turkey omelette, breakfast tacos, and two kale tonic beverages. Although he never goes by his actual name, Kelsey is a frequent patron of the eatery, and his Sunday order came with a rather sizable $1.32 tip. In the interim, before her Global Eras tour stops in South America, Swift is having some free time. Kelsey's NFL bye week falls on November 4th, when she will be performing again in Buenos Aires. This means that Kelsey may soon repay the favour by seeing her performance. It's unclear, though, if the international superstar will fit in one more football match before returning to the road. On Sunday, October 29th, the Chiefs travel to Denver to play the Broncos.